coming to you live from the Last Drop Beer Festival Studio Annex. <laughs> We're here. There yeah. are also June bugs. So because the annex happens to be outside. outside. Oh, you got him! That's, out of the air. That's how you know we're live, kids. We're fighting we're off bugs just for you. Yep. Uh, welcome, Last Draw Beer Festival fans. We thought we should go live and let you know. You know, there, there's probably people out there who are seeing some large, uh, let's just call them corporate advertisements to drink True. red, white, and blue. Yes. Or, or Budweiser. We anyway, can't agree with we, those. We can't agree with those. Companies. We thought this is ridiculous. Our fans like real craft beer. But also, we delivered some like really amazing things that probably you might not be able to go out and buy Fine. for this weekend. This weekend. Uh, specifically STP, right? Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? I'm so right. All right. So we decided let's. Um, yeah. <laughs> Let's As our cameraman drinks STP. Oh gosh, that was so bad. Uh, but let's 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 talk beer. Let's talk about beer and beer um, that you can find easily while supporting real craft breweries that are independent, not owned by a giant conglomerate, or <laughs> yeah. are you know hidden cloak and dagger actual mag macro breweries. Yeah, sometimes that happens. Uh, so. Literally, and I wish I should have like I should have like gone live earlier, but um, I was talking to uh, my other half here, Ben, and he was like, "Let's just go to the store and let's just buy some beer, but like Easy craft beer." To find craft so, in other beer. words, well distributed craft beer is possible. So I I literally like almost with blindfolds on, just went to my local pickup spot. Shout out to Vico down off Euclid. I don't like Vico! giving. I love. My boy, oh, you guys are so good down there. Thank you for helping us out with Last Drop Beer Fest. They gave us a shout out. Shout outs. Um, but uh, I usually don't like to tell people that spot, but it's too late. I already told it because now everybody knows. But I went down there. I walked in the door and I just went to the cold fridge. I wanted to get some cold beers that were craft beers. Yeah. What do we got? Hey, well, you know, I'm thinking we should actually start with this delicious oh, yeah. watermelon yeah, kind yeah. of like... Uh, wheat beer. Isn't it a wheat beer? It is technically. It is. Like a half uh, And it's brewed with watermelons. And I, I totally sealed this up so we can't read it. That's okay. The important thing <laughs> is that you go out and buy it. And I do know that this is often found if you love Trader Joe's. They often oh, have this. They? Yes. Easy to pick oh. up. Easy to find. Uh, obviously, Vico. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, your local grocery store probably has this. I've seen this. I was up in Pismo Beach, and I saw it at, like, uh, they are like one or of whatever, the so. local, or not non-local, but totally craft breweries. This one's based out of, where did we say this was? Uh, I'm going to guess. San Leandro, California. Oh, is that up So, semi-local. This, this one's colder. You want this uh, one? Let's have the really cold one, yeah. Um, but we were trying these earlier, and if you <laughs> research, we were researching, yes, we were these, researching earlier. these earlier. Thank you. Ben. And if you love a little bit of a hint of watermelon in anything, if you like oh, first pour, uh, pancake pour, Ooh, pancake pour. Look Sorry, at this. pancake pour. Hey, by the way, look at those awesome glasses. Did you join us for the real last drop? Because that was pretty awesome. Mm. Unlike my pour, that was pretty awesome. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna disagree. <laughs> but hey, it really pops the lettering there. Ooh, oh, it does. It looks good. It looks good on camera. Uh, Tastes I'm gonna horrible let this in your mouth. But um, sorry, Ben. I'm sorry. Hey, you know what? How about We're I live. give? You, how about I give you tasting notes while? Yeah, give us those tasting notes. Mm. I can give you the aroma notes. Okay, for sure. I don't want to say like watermelon Jolly Rancher because it is not that sweet. No, it is not that sweet. And that at can all. often be off-putting for some people. Yeah, but what I did when we were researching this earlier, totally get like the freshness of like watermelon rind right before you start getting into the really white part. Yeah, you know that gradient from the red to the white. You get yeah. that kind of fresh, refreshing, that watermelon kind of tang. Yes, which is beautiful in this because it totally offsets kind of the sweet uh, malty notes that you get that mm -hmm. are kind of in there. Did you did you read some things on this? I didn't. I don't even know. And it's no, a, I did not. So the other thing we were shooting for, guys, uh, is like it's 
coming up, obviously, America's birthday, 4th of July. Uh, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you, to America. You. Uh, that's all the singing we're doing. Mm -hmm. But this is only 4.9%, guys. So oh, you could drink that all day. This is That was the point of going to the store. I actually put some beers back down because I was like, oh, everyone will find this. Wait, that's like a 7%. Like, no, 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 no. Like, You'll be toasted <coughs> before the fireworks start getting toasted. <laughs> Not a good thing. Yeah, that's a good one. I mean, uh, unless that's oh, what you want. Fun fact off the can, IBUs, only 17, guys. So that gives you a, an idea. Very International mild. bitter units. 17 it doesn't get i mean water is a zero so true <laughs> i just made that up i don't actually know if that's true um <laughs> but hey how about those of you that have actually tried this yes anybody got some fun give yeah. us your tasting notes oh yeah you were right by wheat beer ben. wheat beer you're i right. thought so it's it's kind of right. like hefeweizen without that banana -y esters that you're often finding oh, in yeah, the yeah, yeah. kind of uh typical hefeweizens kind of banana bread Oh, yeah, more yes, please. Or should we only do a little bit so we can keep moving on? Oh, gosh, it's trouble. Uh, it's you're probably trouble. right. We probably should All right, not well. stay here for five hours tonight. Uh, you got it is a great time, I will say. It is good times, but uh, we're going to try to keep this a lot shorter than five plus hours. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's, um. what do the kids say? Crushable? Crushable. Also, you know what would be really good on this? A little wedge of... Watermelon. You know, everybody's going to have it this weekend, oh. and it'd be like a nice little garnish. Yeah. Plus the aroma you would get from the watermelon would just kick this up a little notch. And if you wanted to get crazy, I bet you could do some kind of like watermelon michelada with this. Oh. Which would be pretty bomb. A watermelon michelada? Come on. People put tahini on watermelon. Mm -hmm. You oh. rim this edge with that. Put a little uh, Dang, watermelon uh, blended up. I like the way you're thinking with this. Well, where do you want to- squeeze of lime. Um, I did not research this one at all. How, how do you feel like this compares to the line? I mean, I think this would be a good stop next because this... Why don't we do the Ace Hard Cider? Yeah. Because we're going from fruit to fruit. I mean, it, okay. All and right. then, hey, pineapples to pog. I mean, that makes sense. So I, again, it's in the cold fridge, so wanted to get cold stuff because that's, you know. So this bad boy, 5%. It's by... Easy to drink. Ace Pineapple, uh, I'm sorry. It's Ace is the brewery. They're owned by, we talked about this, California, California Cider, which is still local craft, privately owned. Totally awesome. Um, this one, again, not too sweet. Now I've bought this, pre I've had this previously. My wife, um, Jenny, who might be watching, uh, is totally um, loves anything pineapples. So obviously when we walked down the aisle and we, we saw years ago when we were first dating, um, oh man. I just just smell that here. Here, you're in charge of the pancake pour this time. You're very good. Yeah. May I, sir? Please. Oh yeah. Oh, I get the pancake. I see, see what he did there. I handed out the can. I get the pancake. Pour. One good turn. Oh, sir, you're just gonna another. you're just gonna show me up and be like, oh, this is Casey. This is how you do it. But I will say, oh, look at you. Look at the beautiful clarity that is, of this cider. You guys, I think I can see you guys at home through this. That's how clear it is. Yep. It is yep. super pale. Nothing wrong with that. Oh man, what is that? That reminds me of a pineapple something. A uh, gummy bear? No. Kind of, oh, uh, lifesaver. Pineapple oh, lifesaver. Oh, that's saver. it. I haven't had those in forever. Uh, again. Childhood memories. You childhood, know? Mem childhood memories of drinking alcohol. Wait, no, no, that's not right. Lifesavers. Oh, lifesavers. I'm mm -hmm. eating lifesavers. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, that's not too dry. Not too sweet. Yeah, definitely not as sweet as I, um, cause they have some other variants that I've had before and I, I don't hate on them at all. Um, again, oh, fun fact then from reading this I can. Love facts. It's certified gluten-free. Ah, wait, I'm not done. Vegan friends out there, this bad boy's vegan. That means no lactose. And no animal parts in your cider. Well, I don't think many people use animal parts, but I do know some beers have lactose in it, which yeah. makes it not vegan. So that's cool. Oh, it's hard to see the can. You need to I should like get way cans. up there. I know, I, we're, we're doing this like old school with the thing, but uh, but it's Ace, honestly, just look for the word Ace. and a, Ace uh, Pineapple. Like a deck of card thing when you're going out the store. Mm -hmm. This is really good stuff, guys. Um, uh, a crowd pleaser for the obviously not beer drinkers there. Like, 
Totally. If you're having family over and only family and staying socially distanced, uh, then get some of this. It'll it's a crowd pleaser. It's borderline. I mean, it's not as sweet as like some of those like pineapple Fanta. 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 Oh my god, I totally screwed that up. Sorry. Fanta. Don't you not want a, a Fanta. Hashtag, hashtag not a sponsor. Did we mention that we're? By the way, none of these guys are sponsors. None of these guys. We went out and bought it ourselves. Yeah, I paid we're for all. Not sending us free beer. <laughs> Although. Yeah, uh, <laughs> we're available. We are available, yeah. Uh, this is, I like this. This is not overly sweet. Mm -mm. It will get you like a little sugar rush probably, depending on your... Yeah, I mean, <laughs> just by the residual sugars you, that are in there, you, yeah. you a little bit of sugar rush, but you can always cut it with some uh, other, wine. Other adult beverage. I can see, you know, if you're doing a little cocktail -y thing for... Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, Fourth of July, mix this with some Chardonnay. Get a little bit of the, the fruit notes out of Ooh. there that kind of pop it up a little bit. Like a wine spritzer, almost? Wine spritzer. This is, this is yeah. nicely carbonated. You could put a slice of peach in there, and you have a pretty bomb sangria without having to go, you know, buy extra things like uh, champagne. Is champagne? <laughs> champagne is I like that. Champagne is in sangria? Uh, either no. way, a little bit of spark. Red, red, red or white wine. Red or white wine. Delicious. Yummy. Um, oh man, we have to finish this. Boy, we should have done less research beforehand. It's all right. It's delicious. <laughs> you know what makes it totally? But, you know, it is nice to appreciate. Like, it's a well. It's very clear, but, nicely executed, but full of flavor. Clear. Sometimes a lot of people think like, "Oh, that's a clear beer," but it's it's or cider. It's still got plenty of flavor. Yes, and I will say often when you're thinking about craft beer, cider, etc., 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 the clearer it is, the longer amount of time they've spent on that drink because it takes time to clarify yeah. even with super awesome filters you still get uh, particulate matter in there yeah. so if it's super clear that often means that they've let any sediment settle to the bottom yep cut that out and then have still probably filtered it through something um it's anyway it's a good but not easy thing to do uh what what do you think where should we go next ben hog Pog. There's yeah. a little bit of pineapple, orange, guava for you. Is that what it says? I mean, that's what P-O-G stands for. Or does it? Um, pineapple <laughs> original gangster? Either way, there's pineapple know. and we're coming from pineapple. So this puppy, Stone Brewing, you should uh, know that name. Stone Brewing down in San Diego. San Diego. Very Technically, what's... If you're in SoCal, I'd be really surprised if you guys hadn't heard of... Uh, of the old stone brewing because socal stone brewing is pretty darn correct stone uh, brewing escondido i always forget that area escondido. uh stone brewing uh world bistro gardens delicious amazing place to go hang out if you've got time and hashtag not a sponsor also not a sponsor <laughs> great food great beer great atmosphere 90 percent sure they're probably on limited capacity now because well, of certain things but things are happening hey that's, let me pour you some of this delicious that's why we're trying to tell you the brews that you can probably get uh put in the trunk of your car hey i gave you a pancake oh Merry see Christmas. you did it pancake pour uh <laughs> this one is a little bit hazy but i think done on purpose here um he gives it that Juice, juicy. Feel. Here, I'll do like you. I'll give you the notes Smoother on the nose. Now, mouth feel. Yeah. What? Oh yeah. man, the Odd guava. I'm yeah, guava. The right guava. Off the back. I was gonna say the guava. I was expecting a lot of uh, a saltiness of, of the vitamin C from a pineapple. Mm -hmm. But on the nose, all I taste is like the yeah. Or it's, it's taste. On the nose, all I smell is that guava, like you said. Yeah, Ooh, that's nice. yummy, guys. It's like nice and fresh. Is there, is there an oh, yeah. IBU listing on that? I want to see some. Uh, let's find out. What's the, oh, information, I don't, information. Real, real quick, before we go back, I think I said this is only 5%, so another good uh, all day or on the, on the ace. Uh, I do not see anything <laughs> about IBUs, but it is 4.7% ABV. Another, another Easy below. Easy drinker. Have this all day. Be floating with a nice little buzz. Make sure you have a hot dog or a hamburger. Or and water. Like We're all about that water droplets. True. Drink those waters. Water droplets. <laughs> but hey, let me uh, top you off. Oh, you're gonna top. Thank that, you. Now Thank that you're. Your now that my pancake settled. Down. <laughs> Ooh, beautiful. Look at that. It's almost like a nice pilsner head there. The, the retention of yeah, the foam is, it is quite nice. Beautiful. 
Um, oh, so man, some tasty still. notes. Let me go for. Okay, you go first. That way I can talk while you're drinking. No, you go. Ah, uh, well now I'm gonna. No, you go. Okay, here I go. No, I go. It's good. Mm. Honestly, uh, that the mouthfeel on that is almost like. I don't want to say orange juice, but like it, it has like a has some viscosity to it. Yeah, not like a super thick, thick stout mm -hmm. to all my pastry boys out there. But but, but definitely, it's got some it's got some good mouthfeel. Right, to it. it's not like carbonated water where where uh, it, you get the effervescence a lot. The the smoothness kind of mm. comes through here because of that hazy. I don't know if you can see it, the hazy color to it. It's not oh. crystal clear. Like oh, you got to do cider. the hand thing, the hand model hand thing. thing. Oh, yeah. there it is, the haziness. You Money. can see it. Oh, we didn't do that for like half a video. I'm surprised it took us four beers. I'm surprised <laughs> nobody's complained about it yet. Yeah. I can't see. you got to do the thing. Doing? <laughs> All right. Oh, our cans so are there's, getting... there's the can. Yeah. Nobody can see it because it's too far away. It's but... so far away. But maybe camera operator Jen will come and like float it right. No, in she front. won't. No, she won't. Don't, no, don't. No, no. Okay. Too much work. Too much work. Oh, but we got this big L bad boy. Look, that's the label. Bam. Boom. Pick that up. Again, there you go. easy to find. I've seen this in multiple locations. Total Wines and More. Um, I'm sure they have it at uh, Vico. Vico. <laughs> yes. Ralph's. Kroger. Stater Brothers. All your favorite grocery stores. Kroger's do it again. Big Wiggly. Easy to find local beer, craft beer that you won't spend an arm and a leg buying. Yeah. You can drink it all day. Um, that's kind of the point of what we're doing right now today is reinforcing. Bringing the craft to the people. Correct. Uh, and easily. That you mm. can go out tomorrow and be like, oh crap, I need to pick up a pack of hot dogs and some buns. Yeah. I can still get craft beer and not have to support macro brewery and you can tell your crazy uncle ha look i know craft beer or everybody has a crazy uncle or your crazy it. uncle that doesn't know anything about craft beer you could like blow his mind bring all these and go on the same uh <laughs> journey as we are i need to drink more of this because mm. i'm getting behind it here it's good though it's good i'm sad we only have one more to go i feel like we had so many more beers at the last drop beer festival.com Selfless, Which, by the selfless way, plug, selfless plug. Go to our website, check out our uh, live video. It is now posted up there. Yeah. People that bought the ticket have the, you know, uh, easy access version where they can actually go to the Click on specific the videos that they want. But we have made the entire live broadcast minus the intro lead in and outro lead out of music available to you. So you can go and check find some of those beers, drink along with us. It was a fun night, let me tell you. Um, you know, one thing we didn't mention about the pog juice here from Stone, it's got a little bit of tartness to it. So if you're yeah. averse to a tart beer or on the opposite end, if you're interested in trying some new sours and you don't really love the extra sour puck of your mouth kind of. Yeah, like this, uh, as I, I call it, Ben, the uh, stripping the enamel off your teeth. Yes. Yeah. This I've... is a good <laughs> gateway drug. <laughs> Uh, that it's will, a good gateway craft. Yes, that will kind of like bridge that gap that yeah. you're drinking IPAs and you kind of are having hazies and you like the hazies and you're like, man, I wish I could really get into some more uh, tart or sour beers, and I'm beers. And I'm sure a lot of the guys out there watching this or gals are out there watching this, um, if, if you like pineapple, then you're already used to tart stuff anyways. Mm -hmm. So that's, it's not any, it's definitely not as bad as biting into a lemon. Um, but it's definitely, you know, fresh. It's, I think it's easier than like a fresh pineapple, like bite. It's not quite that tart. Definitely not that sweet. Plus the tartness kind of leaves you with a, a nice clean mouth finish. And then yeah. it makes you kind of want to, mm, I need a little bit more and a little I, bit more. It's working. It's working. I just need a little bit more. Uh, and now I'm out. Look at uh, that. Speaking of a little bit more, last but not least. You do the honors, sir. Oh, here. I'm going to grab this slightly colder one. Cause it, uh, wasn't, it hasn't been double. seen up there. Yeah, the stunt double. Dun, dun, dun. And hey, Dub look at that badass Star Wars inspired artwork. Right? Uh, double dry hopped light speed pale ale from Toppling Goliath. Now, if yeah. you haven't heard of these guys, they're from Decora, Iowa. They do some of the most desirable stouts in the craft beer industry. Assassin, barrel aged assassin, SR71, 
barrel aged SR seventy one. No, I just I thought, that, I thought that's I thought that's how that was going. Yes, it, definitely. <laughs> uh, on their website, if you find even the part that talks about SR seventy one, for those of you uh, military fighter jet aficionados, that was like the first stealth uh, stealth bomber, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, SR seventy one stealth. The only information they give you is in uh, code. Uh, so you would have to go crack the code to find out what the heck they're even talking about on the SR-71 beer page. Thankfully, we found something super easy for you to find now. This is a lot more, or a lot less code breaky. But still from that same high quality, desirable craft brewery. I'm really trying to like give you not a first You're pancake. You're the man, or... look at that. It looks I'm trying. beautiful. No, no, you, you inspired me, Ben. It's all you. No, there's still a little, it's still a little heavy, but. It's great. But anyway. The first pancake can still look good, but it's still always. This one I haven't pancake. done research on yet, aside from knowing enough about Toppling Goliath. You did, um, you, you, I didn't know that much about SR-71. I mean, I know it's a, it is desirable. sought after, it's, it's a hot boy. It's hard to find, if not impossible to find. You have to have connections. Is it, is it that good? All right, so this, I mean, here's another cheers. Cheers, nice and clear. Another nice that. clear boy. I mean, day drinkers seem like to have a, a running, thread here. Ooh. I love I kinda, that nose on there. I kind of want you to talk about this. I I actually, uh, one of the things that steered me towards this, oddly enough, other than the fact that it was craft and I had recognized Toppling Goliath, um, was the fact that it's a hopped up It is totally pale ale. Up. It's delicious. Yeah, it's good. I mean, again, double dry hop guys, meaning if you like hops, this is a good one to go for. Is this the one? Oh, this is the one that I had a hard time finding. Uh, I had a hard oh, time thanks, finding. Jen. Thanks, Jen. Camera. Camera. Bring it in live. Woo! Has I had a hard commented? time. Did they want to know about this nonsense? Everyone's like, what's happening? I don't even know. Why are these guys even here? <laughs> Nailed it. Thanks, Chad. Um, uh, what, uh, oh, this was the one I had to look okay, up. Okay, but there is some slightly weird floaties in there. Is there? It's not off. Oh, yeah. I do but it see looks that. like carbonation almost that is not bubbling upward. But it's, so it's like, oh, that's weird. And it's probably from the dry hopping, honestly. Yeah, it's that probably is at the very end of the when I, process. When I say weird, I just mean like the cool weird. <laughs> right. Like, oh, that's weird. I don't want to drink it. No, no, no. That's really cool. I want to drink it, but I agree, Ben. It's probably particles from the dry hopping nest. Oh, did you see that little guy try to? He wanted Clear, to we're clearly live he because that beer. that moth just tried to drink my beer. Get out of here, moth. <laughs> yeah, it comes across super clean on the palate, though. Like, it sure I don't, does. I mean, you get lots of hops, not going to lie. Uh, I did go... And you do get a very floral kind of hop from this, too. Oh, like, um, well said. I don't know. What are we... I'm trying, trying to, to say I'm what trying flowers. to read more things on here, but it just tells me if I'm a woman and pregnant I shouldn't drink it that's not important maybe about like honey a little bit of honeysuckle oh yeah okay so um, it says its bitterness flies under the radar as hops create hints of lemon I and orange it. aromas light okay. speed is a medium bodied pale ale that is out of this world I concur doctor so yeah Nice, easy drinker. How are we on uh, uh, ABV on this puppy? Uh, I think I looked this one up earlier. This is one of the heavier ones. So I think it's in the six range. A four pack of those. Yeah, I which it comes not in. Not an which, all day Which it drinker. comes in, so that's good. Hey, perfect. But uh, yeah, because I I for sure remember looking looking this up because it's not on the can. Uh, but I didn't. I don't know. I thought it was in the six range. I could be totally wrong. I looked it up on my phone earlier, and guess what? I forgot because I put my phone in airplane mode. Hey, let's take a look. Does it no, say? No, it doesn't say. I, look, I looked. He what doesn't believe me. A bunch of oh, 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 oh. Who left it on his untapped? I did. Oh, but I'm in airplane mode, and I can't click. Uh, clearly, the bum, laws bum, in Decorah, Iowa are a little bit different than the rest of the world. Where 6.2. Nailed 6 it. 6.2. Yeah, so. Yeah, well, isn't It'll there. get you drunk. There's some. <laughs> It is a slightly, uh, it's the heaviest of our uh, lineup that we brought for you guys and today. And it does have a little bit of a bitter lingering finish, not overly like super dank and like, I got you this get one. a punch in the mouth. I mean, but. at 6.2%, I got this one because it's hops and I'm sure lots of you guys out there like hops. 
Uh, and it's it's only 6.2, so it's still not, you know, we're not looking at double IPA status right. where we're hitting almost nine or 10 percent. So. Correct. Super drinkable. Let's, um, I don't know, guys. S celebrate America and drink some craft beer. Please drink some craft beer. Mm -hmm. I know we'll, see, we'll see you guys on the internet. Please reach out to yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. Say uh, hey on uh, this post, any of our posts. Should we, and definitely if you haven't heard, we're already planning another last drop. Festival. Festival, virtual festival. So check us out guys. Uh, Instagram, lastdropbeerfest.com, or no, no, I, why did I say .com? That's Instagram and then .com, that doesn't make, wait, that doesn't make sense. Last, last drop, drop beer, beer fest. fest. Uh, check out lastdropbeerfestival.com. Uh, I think we have a Facebook. Uh, I mistakenly made a Twitter the other day. Try that too. Who says hi? Bob. Hi. Hey, Bob. Which Bob? Bob, Bob Raylan? The, the Bob Day Bob? The Bob Day Bob? There's only one major Bob. There's I mean, only one major Bob. Hey, Bob. Hope you're drinking craft for the uh, Independence uh, oh, Day. Oh, please. He's going to be drinking hands. <laughs> Does that count as craft? I, mean, I don't know. It's good enough. Yeah. You get certain Bob, allotments. you're good enough, says Casey. No, that's not, wait. Bob, I think you're great. You stay you. Bob, that's not Cheers. what I'm saying. Cheers, guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed our little uh, You Should Drink Craft for the fourth. Celebrate Merca. I don't know. Um, and obviously, if you've got a local craft brewery near you, go say hi to them. Yeah, Pick up yeah. a crowler. Please. They're not doing growler fills. Don't bring an empty bottle and yeah. expect them to fill it up. That's not clean. That's not safe. What he said. Have them give you a fresh crowler, a can, <laughs> sealed, ready to go, probably cold. You can drive away and drink I would it hope. when you get home. I hope it's cold. Seven one. Oh, nice, yeah. nice work, Bob. Bob. Bottle Logic 714. I love that yeah. beer. I almost got some 805s today. Ooh, I mean, that's a, Walker. That's a solid, you know, 805s always. Well, Same I mean, thing. It's a but, zinger. but 714, if you're in the area code or in the area, definitely pick that up. All right, fine. Jen, you want to hear my story? My family's all from the 805 area code. I took 714 to my family in 805 when we were all camping together. And by the end of the trip, they were all, all drinking converted. 714, not 805. Zing. That's, so there you go. Uh, so I'm still a Bottle Logic fanboy, don't worry. <laughs> Anyways, do you get anything else? I don't know. Um, Drink craft, guys. Celebrate America safely. Thanks for stopping by and saying hey. Don't blow your face off. Fourth of July, please. Drink water. And Cheers, everybody. Take care. Oh. We love y'all. Oh, yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Ciao.